I Don't Want to Be Scary on Halloween, written by Gina Galois. October is finally here, Sassy Skunk squeals with delight. It's the spookiest time of year, Pepper Porcupine murmurs in a ghostly voice. Have you chosen your Halloween costumes? Poppy Opossum asks her friends. I'm going to be a zombie, exclaimed Sassy. I'm dressing up as a werewolf, shouts Pepper. I don't know if I want to dress up, Poppy confesses. You could be a mummy, says Sassy. We could make a terrifying trio. Mummies are scary, says Poppy. I don't want to be scary on Halloween. Folks are already afraid of me. I don't want to make anyone scream. Halloween is supposed to be scary, Sassy reminds her. I think Halloween is for pretending to be someone else, and I do not want to be scary, Poppy insists. Pepper has an idea. Try on some costumes and we'll help you choose the perfect one. I love playing dress up, Poppy agrees. But there are so many costumes. Which one should I try first? This one, says Sassy, showing Poppy a shimmering gown. You love fairy tales. Poppy waves her wand. Sassy and Pepper nod in approval. I'll be a fairy princess, Poppy grins, her teeth gleaming. Well, I've never seen a fairy princess with claws and sharp teeth, Sassy admits. Are you sure you don't want to be scary? I don't want to be scary, Poppy confirms. Then we'll keep looking, Sassy and Pepper promise. How about a unicorn? asked Pepper. They're magical, sparkly, and not frightening at all. It's perfect, Sassy agrees. Nah, Poppy whines, rearing up her hind legs. No, that's not quite right. Unicorns don't have fangs, Pepper says. That's true, says Poppy, giggling at herself in the mirror. I could be a scarecrow, but that has the word scare in the name, says Poppy. Scarecrows aren't scary, just ask the crows, Pepper laughs. Poppy tries on the costume, stuffing loose straw in her sleeves. Uh-oh, you are the first scary scarecrow I've seen, Pepper cries. Don't worry, Poppy, we haven't found the right costume for you yet, but we will, Sassy declares. I'm glad you're here to help me, friends, Poppy smiles. I know, exclaims Pepper. Babies are sweet and cute. No one is afraid of babies. All you need is a diaper, a rattle, and a pacifier to hide your teeth, Sassy says, passing the costume to Poppy. Aw, what a cute baby, the friends coo as Poppy crawls around. Goo goo, ga ga, Poppy does her best imitation of a baby, dropping her pacifier and drooling. Who knew a baby could be scary, Pepper shrugs. Now you know. Poppy jokes, shaking the rattle at her friends. Those costumes were too exotic. Let's stick to the animal kingdom, Sassy proposes. Try this dolphin costume, Pepper urges Poppy, smiling. Dolphins have lots of teeth, too, so it could work. Ee, 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 Poppy squeaks, waving her flippers. Ah! Poppy, you look like a great white shark ready to chomp, Sassy squeals. Da-dum, da-dum, da 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 Poppy hums, pretending to swim after her friends. You could be a bird, says Pepper, with airplane arms outstretched. Oh, I love birds, says Poppy. Tweet, tweet, Poppy sings, flapping her golden wings. Yikes, Pepper screams. As soon as you open your mouth, you went from sweet songbird to hungry pterodactyl. So much for our feathered friends, Poppy sighs. Everyone says opossums are like cats. Why didn't we think of that before? Sassy wonders. They all perk up at Sassy's suggestion. Here, kitty, kitty, who's a good kitty? Pepper coos playfully. Purr. Oh, no, you look like a saber-tooth cat, Sassy says with a shaky voice. I don't want to look like a ferocious predator in the sea, in the sky, or on land, Poppy declares. Wait, look what I found. Plants aren't scary. Here, Poppy, this is the one. I can feel it, Pepper announces triumphantly. 
Poppy slips on a flower costume and turns to face her friends like a daisy soaking up the summer sun. Sassy and Pepper clap excitedly until Poppy smiles. Nope, you look like a Venus flytrap. You make one frightening plant, says Sassy. I look dangerous even as a plant, Poppy asks, discouraged. I give up, Poppy hangs her head. I'm scary no matter what I wear. Thanks for trying, but I might as well just go as myself. We're sorry we didn't find the perfect costume, Poppy, Pepper apologizes sadly. But you know, we don't think you're scary, Sassy assures her friend. We know how kind and gentle you are. Sometimes looks can be deceiving. It's almost time for trick-or-treating, Sassy says, pointing to her watch. Quick, let's get ready, Pepper urges. Poppy, will you help us with our costumes? Of course, I'm ready to go just as I am, says Poppy, doing her best to smile and be brave. Are you sure you don't want to wear a costume, Poppy? Sassy asks one last time. I'm sure, Sassy, but thank you for asking. I'll wear this lovely flower as my costume, Poppy says, tucking a daisy behind her ear. Trick or treat! Poppy, Pepper, and Sassy sing in unison. Oh, look, what an adorable opossum. Don't you just want to snuggle her? How sweet. This is the best costume I've seen all night. The end.